So are you telling me that if a battery's dead, if I perceive it to be dead, you can bring it back to life? About 70% of the time. So how do you do that? Well, again, it's with that Pulse technology. We've had a patent for about 30 years now with Pulse Tech. And what it does is it, like I said, it pulses the battery 25,000 pulses per second, which dissolves the sulfates in the liquid of the battery and stops them from building up on the lead plates. Every lead acid battery has got a lead plate inside. Sulfates grow onto that. They come up at some point in time, they kill the battery. We stop that from happening. Okay, we're gonna start out with this 12 volt NAPA battery that just came in off of a piece of equipment. So. Obviously, take your positive and your negative. We're going to put it on there. Your screen's going to light up. It's going to do an immediate battery test, and it's going to tell us that we have 5.6 volts at this time. You hit enter. It's asking us now, because it's so low, is it a 6-volt battery? If it was, we would hit this button to say yes. This one is not, so we'll go back to no, and we'll hit enter again. The next thing it's going to ask is, what type of battery is this one? This specific battery is a regular liquid battery, but you can scroll through the options if you have something different. Hit enter. Now it's going to ask us for the CCAs. This specific battery has 750 cold cranking amps, so we're going to hit enter there. If it wasn't cold cranking amps, there are other options which you can scroll through here, like IEC, DIN. A lot of different batteries have different things, but we're mostly going to see CCAs. We'll hit enter. It's already at 750, so we'll hit enter again, and now it's going to test the battery. It's going to ask me now, is that battery charged? It wants to know, did it just come off of a charger, or has it been sitting and any surface charge is off? The answer is no. We'll hit enter again, and you can see the results of that. This current battery, battery currently has 5.59 volts and only one cold cranking amp, but guess what? We're going to try to save this one. Okay, now we're going to try to recover this 12 volt battery that we just tested. And to do that, we're going to use the PulseTech SC2 recovery charger. This charger will take anywhere from, say, 12 up to 72 hours to fully recover a battery that is in bad shape. So, super simple. All we have to do is take the positive to the positive, take the negative to the negative. And you'll notice that right away, the light lights up beside recovery charge. That means that this machine is currently working on recovering this battery. The other four lights that are there are battery disconnected, which you'll notice on the one beside it because we don't have anything on station number two. The second light is for bad battery. If that one lights up, that one's beyond repair. The third one is recovery charge. The fourth is pulse charge. That's one that it'll continue to do even after it's fully charged. And the bottom light is charge complete. When we get that one, we should be in pretty good shape. Okay, now we're going to take a 12 volt battery that has just spent a couple of days on a recovery charger and we're going to test it. It has been off of the recovery charger for about an hour at this point. It's best before you put it back into a piece of equipment that you give it at least 12 hours to let any surface charge come off of the battery. But super simple, let's test again. We'll take the negative to the negative, the positive to the positive. Right now this battery is reading 12.96 volts. We'll hit enter. Again, it's a regular liquid battery. The CCAs on this battery are 950, so we've got that set where it needs to be. Hit enter. It's asking now if there's a surface charge in the vehicle or on the battery. There's not, it's been off the charger long enough. So we'll say no, enter, enter again. It's testing that battery. That battery is good and pass. It has 12.94 volts and 920 cold cranking amps. It's ready to go back into the truck. But if you'll hit enter again, it'll bring up a code one more time. It's gonna ask you if you wanna print the results. You say yes, it's gonna print those results off. And then what most shops like to do is to take that piece of paper, tear it off, tape it to the top of the battery, and that way when the technician comes in to grab that battery, he'll know that it's good, tested, and ready to be used. Okay, now we have a fully recovered 12-volt battery that's ready to go. 
what we'll do at this point is we're going to put it on our Pulse Tech Ready Pulse Pro 12 battery maintainer. That's this unit here. You can see that all these batteries, they're dirty, they look better when they're clean, but that's not on me. What we'll do is this, this will maintain 12 batteries. What it does is basically a smart charger. It's going to keep all the batteries topped off and it's con going to continue to pulse and desulfate all of these batteries. So when you do come in to grab one, you know you're going to have something that's ready to go. Super simple, like any other maintainer. We'll just put the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and it's ready to go. Just so you know, we're in a pretty small rental location here. All these batteries on top of this countertop have been fully recovered and brought back to life. And this system paid for itself with just these few batteries here. So you can imagine how many you do every month. One thing I did want to mention, I know in the rental equipment business, there's an awful lot of six volt batteries. Our equipment works just as well as that. You just have to trick the equipment into thinking that two six volts are a 12 volt. Super simple, I know most folks know how to do that, but you just want to connect the positive to the negative, and then you take the recovery charger, hook it to this positive and this negative, and it'll treat those batteries as if they're one 12 volt battery.